everybody, it's Amaya. So today's video is going to be a video called If I Could Only Choose One. And this video was started by Kelly Gooch on YouTube as sort of a tag video. I love her, I will leave her down below as well as this video. She's super calm and super sweet and I really like her video ideas, they're very creative. But anyways, this video is kind of exactly what it sounds like. I'm going to be talking about what products I would choose if I could only choose one. And yes, I did just move that candle, it didn't just magically move by itself. Okay, so let's start out with primer. If I could only choose one primer to use, I would choose the Benefit Professional. This is a little sample size, but I just love this primer so much. I feel like it really smooths out my skin and it really does blur my pores. If I put on moisturizer and then this, it does not feel drying on my skin at all. I also do think that it prolongs the wear of my makeup. So out of all my pore filling primers, out of all my hydrating primers, anything like that, I would choose this guy because I feel like if I use this, I can make any kind of makeup work. Okay, next let's talk about foundation. So this category was especially hard to pick because I use so many different foundations for so many different reasons. I kind of have like my top five that I always use and I just interchange them depending on which color matches me best at the moment or what kind of finish or coverage that I want. And I finally narrowed it down to one that I could use for a full glam face of makeup or a natural style of makeup, and that one is the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. So this is a newer foundation to me, but honestly I have just fallen in love with it over the past like month and a half that I have been using it. I just love the finish of this. I'm wearing it today. It's like a light to almost medium coverage if you build it up. You can make it very sheer and natural, or you can make it almost medium. And I think that is just something that I love so much in a foundation. You can build it up a little bit and not make it look cakey, and it also has a nice glowy skin-like finish. I have dry skin, so that's very much appreciated. I also love that it's in a cushion because it is so fast and easy. You don't have to pour anything anywhere. You don't have to use the back of your hand or another surface. It's just really, really quick and easy. You can just stick a sponge in there or a brush and just pat it all over your face. Okay, next for concealer. This was also a very difficult one because I am a concealer mixer. I always use like two concealers, except for today. I'm only wearing one. It's the one I'm going to talk about. And this is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is a concealer I've been using only since like December, but honestly, it is pretty much everything I could want in a concealer minus one thing. So it is pretty full coverage. I would say it's a medium to full coverage concealer, which I actually like. I prefer my concealers to be a little bit more full coverage than my foundation. And it is nice and long wearing. It also doesn't crease easily and doesn't make me look dry and cakey. However, it does have a very matte finish. I prefer something that has a little bit more of a satin slightly dewy finish, but I would choose this one because it has everything else that I like and it will wear for a long time. So as long as I don't put too much powder on it and I make sure to set my face with a nice moisturizing or hydrating dewy setting spray, this is awesome. It lasts, it works so well, and it just covers up everything that I need to under my eyes. The only thing about this concealer is it does oxidize, so make sure that you're getting a shade that's a little bit light for you, um, because otherwise you will have some sort of dark issue underneath your eyes or wherever else you put this. Okay, so for powder, this will not come as a surprise to many of you. It is the RCMA No Color Powder. I use this stuff in almost every tutorial. I actually keep it in an old NYC Smooth Skin Powder container, but this is the original container that it comes in. This is just really, really messy and hard to use, so I just put it in the other container. But this stuff is so amazing. I use this on clients. I use it on myself. I can use it on my sister who's like three or four shades lighter than me. I can use it on my younger sister if she ever needed it and she's like a shade or two darker than me. I feel like maybe you wouldn't be able to get away with this on super dark skin tones, but anywhere from fair to medium deep, I think this powder could work because it doesn't leave a white cast. Even though it is white, it's not a silica powder where it's very... HD and will give flashback. This does not give any flashback and it just makes your skin look so nice and smooth. I also don't feel like it makes me look cakey and gross and I feel like it is pretty truly translucent. Like I can put this on my face and it doesn't really change the concealer color or foundation color that I am wearing which I really appreciate. Okay next let's talk about some bronzer. So 
I'm sure you guys can already guess what I'm going to say, but it is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I have had so many new bronzers in my life lately that I've actually been loving, but if I had to choose one, I would just choose this guy. It is my tried and true bronzer. I can use this really, really fast on a really natural makeup day. I can use this and take my time if I'm doing something more full glam. I can use this on a lot of different people and they also just released a bunch of different shades with new undertones and some that are a little bit darker, which makes me so happy because while this shade works really well for me, I know there are some people out there who are a little bit darker than me or have slightly different undertones that this bronzer does not work so well for. I'm wearing this today as well. It's a nice creamy satin bronzer. It's not too matte, it's not too shiny, there's no glitter or anything in there and also, it smells so good. Okay, so for blush, this one is also a newer favorite. I feel like I never really found a blush that I loved. I was always hopping back and forth between different blushes. I could never find an undertone or a finish that I liked. I might like the color of one, but not the finish. And then I might like the finish of another, but not really the color. And I just feel like I was always just kind of meh on blushes. I had good blushes that I liked, but I never had anything that was like holy grail. And I think think I might have found something that I actually really, really like. This is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Bella Bellini. So yes, this is something that is newer. I showed it in just a few videos ago. And you guys, I would never have used this and thought that it would be my holy grail because it is a dark pink color. It's not super dark, but it is darker than say like a light nude or a light mauve blush, which I typically gravitate towards. It also has this gold, almost like duochrome shift, which I typically would think looks pretty, but not on me. But you guys, I'm wearing this blush today, and this, I love the formula of this because it is baked, so it's nice and fine. It doesn't look powdery or dry and gross on your skin like blushes sometimes can. It has that nice sheen to it, which I really, really like. It makes my skin look nice and glowy. And I also love the color. This color is my perfect natural blushing shade. So if I were to actually get like sweaty and have a nice rosy red cheek going on, this would be a very close color. I mean, obviously minus the gold duochrome, but this would be a very close pink color to what my actual cheeks look like. So I feel like on the face, it just looks so natural and beautiful. I absolutely love this. Okay, so for highlighter, I actually have two, and they're very, very similar, but one is newer, and the reason why I'm not saying that's my holy grail is because it is newer. If I had to only choose one highlighter, I would choose the Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlighter. You guys, you guys know I love this. It is just so amazing. I've almost hit pan on it. It's just the perfect color for my skin. I am wearing it today mixed with the other highlighter I'm gonna talk about in a second. But I just love the consistency of this. It is kind of baked, so I like that it doesn't look powdery on the skin. It just gives you a really nice glass-like shine. It's very glossy, not super pigmented in color, so I feel like it just really gives you that nice wet look to your face. A highlighter that has kind of replaced this one has been the Anastasia and Beverly Hills Omrezy Highlighter. So if you actually swatch these side by side, they are almost the exact same color. But there's something about this Anastasia Amrezy highlight that is just a little bit more finely milled, a little bit more glossy, a little less pigmented, even though the Rodeo Drive highlighter doesn't have a lot of color to it. This one I feel like has even less. It's even a more natural sheen, which I just love. And this one looks so blinding, it's insane. So I feel like you can really alternate both of these out, one for the other, but for some reason, I find myself reaching for this one a lot lately, even though this one if I had to choose between the two, I would choose this one. This one has just been crazy. I've just been crazy over this one lately. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about a setting spray. And my favorite, favorite setting spray of all time is the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Yes, I don't have the top. That's how much I love this stuff. It's almost gone. And I've actually had this bottle since like early summer. And I'm not quite empty. I'm not quite empty yet. Um, so just goes to show you that even though this is expensive, you do get four ounces in here and because the mist is so nice and fine, you really don't use that much product that quickly. I love the chill one because it does give you a nice hydrating, dewy look to your face, but it does set your makeup in place and it does extend the wear of your makeup. 
This is in the old packaging. The new packaging is like black with like purple writing. Um, but I would highly recommend even picking up a sample size if you can get it of this one because it's just so good and I have never used a setting spray quite like this in my entire life. Okay, moving on to eyes. So I'm supposed to choose an eyeshadow palette. If I could only choose one eyeshadow palette, what would I use? And I was looking through my collection and honestly, I could not find one. I could not find an eyeshadow palette that was a cohesive palette that I was like, yes, I could only use this for the rest of my life if I had to. I just couldn't find one that had every single component that I love. I love the Anastasia Modern Renaissance, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, and the Jaclyn Hill palette and the Morphe 35O, but I just couldn't choose one of them. It didn't feel right. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna do my eye makeup with whatever makes me feel happy. And what made me feel happy was my single ColourPop eyeshadows. So not all of these are ColourPop shadows, but these two right here, this one, this one, this one, and that guy right there are all of my ColourPop pressed single shadows. And honestly, they have become my favorite eyeshadow formulation. I just love them so much. I'm wearing them all on my eyes today. I just love these shadows so much. They are so creamy, they blend so well, and they are cheaper than a lot of single eyeshadows on the market. I think they're like four bucks as opposed to the typical like six bucks. Don't quote me on that, they're like five, four or five bucks. Um, but I also love their Super Shock shadows. So I feel like if I had to use only one kind of eyeshadow again, I would choose ColourPop. I like their palettes, I like their single shadows, Shadows, and I love their super shock shadows. So I have a few shades here. I'm wearing on top of my eyes um, Co-Pilot on top of that shimmery shade that I pointed out in there which is called Snake Bite. Then on top of that I am wearing Paisley which is my all-time favorite shade from them. Just a nice sheer glitter topper. And then some of my other favorite shades are Lala which is a really pretty rose gold. Um, fluffy, which is a really pretty gold with some pink duochrome glitters in it. And then I Heart This, which is a beautiful silver glittery shade. I just think they are so good, the mattes and the shimmers. They're excellent. Okay, so if I had to only use one eyeliner for the rest of my life, I would have to choose the NYC Liquid Liner. I recently have fallen in love with this one more than the NYX matte liquid liner that I was using for a while because this one is just a little bit blacker and a little bit more pigmented and I use this on so many people over the weekend because I had to do makeup for a swing performance that we had and I did so many liquid liner looks with this and it's just so good. I love the brush on it. I love the pigmentation. I love how it applies. It wears for so long and on myself and on other people. It's so easy to use. Okay, so an eyebrow product. If I had to only use one eyebrow product for the rest of my life, I would choose the NYX Eyebrow Gel. I've talked about this a ton. I talked about it in my eyebrow video, so I won't go too in-depth here, but this Oh my god, it's so, so good. It's waterproof, it's pigmented, they do have a good amount of shades to choose from, and it is just such a great product. You do have to use a brush to apply this, so you kind of have to squeeze it out onto something and then apply it to your brows, but I am wearing it today, and you guys, it's just the best eyebrow product I've ever come across. For mascara, you guys know the Benefit Roller Lash is just my holy, holy grail ever. I love it. I'm wearing it today with another mascara layered over it, but this one I could just use by itself and be totally happy. It gives my lashes such a long, fluttery, beautiful look. It doesn't do a whole lot for like thickening, but if you do build it up, you can get that slightly clumpy sort of look to make your lashes look more voluminous and more thick, but it keeps my lashes curled up all day and it does provide such a beautiful naturally long look. Like my lashes look super, super long. Like they're naturally like that. It's just so, so good. I've never found a mascara that can do the same thing that this one does. So yeah, I just love it, even though it is expensive. I love it. And then lastly, for lip products, if I had to choose to use only one lip product in my whole entire life, I would choose a liquid lipstick because they are the most long wearing. You can sheer them out with a little bit of lip balm and you're good to go, or you can wear them full on, full matte like I'm wearing today. And my favorite formulation for liquid lipsticks currently and probably forever, is the Sephora Cream Lip Stains. I just love these guys because I feel like they're the perfect blend of hydrating and long wearing. They are also completely transfer proof, and as you can see, I'm having no issue talking. They're not sticky at all. They are completely transfer proof, and they do have so many great shades. I love, love, love this guy right here. This is an 01. This is their like first bright red shade, and it's just 
the perfect bright red. I love it. Um, I have 13 Marvelous Moth, which is what is on my lips right now. And then on top of it, I have 40, which is like pink tea or something like that. And I have that on top of my lips as well. And these guys just are so good. They also smell amazing. And they're only 14 bucks, which is an awesome price for a liquid lipstick. So that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys like it. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you have any Holy Grail products that you think I should try out, let me know down below. And if you liked any of these ones, tell me. If you didn't like any of them, tell me as well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.